packed up and we're ready to go to Yachtville, California. Heading out in the morning, gonna go see the family. Yachtville's a little town up in Napa Valley, which is California wine. Oh Andrew. yes, it's time to drink up. <laughs> <laughs> and then this one here, he decided he wanted to go on a, a special adventure, which he will be doing by himself because there is no way I'm doing it. I'll be filming from the ground, guaranteed. But uh, I'll be adventuring yeah. somewhere else. Yeah, they were smart enough to make us pay in advance so we can't chicken out. So That's true. <laughs> <laughs> so it should be fun. Yes. Let's, let's go check out Beyond Hill. I think this is it right here. Uh, this looks like it. Where's your car? This, oh, is, it. this is it. This is it. Wow. Home sweet home for now. Oh, this looks like a really nice place. Look at this view. It's really beautiful here. It's pretty. Wow. Picnic time! I am talking to myself. That, that's what this whole channel's about, basically. <laughs> so, talking to ourselves. So, we're having a picnic at the Alpha Omega Winery out with here. our lovely family. This is our lovely family. Lovely family. Everything that Rob makes is amazing, and he is a member here at the Alpha Omega Winery, which happens to be vegan. All of their wines are vegan, at least that's what they've told us. Yep. That is what they told us. They said nothing is used with, um, nothing is made with animal products in the finding process. So here we are and we're enjoying a lovely Chardonnay in the shade. We're having tomatoes in olive oil and balsamic um, with fresh basil from the family garden. Yay! <laughs> and then we're having uh, vegan uh, cashew nut cheese, uh, one of which has got truffles infused into it and vegan mayonnaise with garlic and truffles and then we've got cheese and vegan turkey and salad. All right, here we are leaving the Omega Alpha. Nope. Here we are leaving. <laughs> Take three. All right, here we are leaving the Alpha Omega Winery. We just had lunch with the family here, and you have to be a member here to be lunch. Here we are leaving the uh, the. Clearly, uh, we've been wine tasting. <laughs> if you're a member here, you can do wine tasting, and then you can picnic out in the back which is what we did yes. with the fountains and the beautiful view and everything. But now, where are we going? We are going to another winery. <laughs> We're going wine tasting in Yonville. This is outside of Yonville, oh, closer yes. to St. Helena, just a few miles. Uh, north of Yontville, but now we're going to Yontville to the Girard Winery, which is also a vegan friendly winery. So we're very excited. Yes. And then we'll crawl home because it is walking distance. I'm the designated driver. So let's go. Let's go check out Alrighty. Girard Winery. So uh, here we go. tasting five different wines today, two whites, Viognier and Chardonnay. 
and then we're going to do uh, three different reds, mixed blacks, Cab Franc, and Cabernet Sauvignon. Very nice. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Looking forward so to welcome. it. Absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. I gave you guys some pens. Make those uh, menus your own. Okay. Your wine list is on the front page. All of the wines we have available, uh, except for our library selections, are on the back, and the wine club information is in the middle. Perfect. Yay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right, I'm going to get you started with the first wine on the list. This is our Viognier. Thank you. You're so welcome. All right. Cheers. Cheers, honey. That's some good wine. That's, that's smooth. That's really good wine. Smooth, delicious. Good. Wait. We make two Chardonnays, both of them Russian River because there is beautiful fruit coming out of the Russian River. This is a vineyard designant, um, Dutton Ranch, and if you can keep your ego out of it, you'll make a really nice wine. Don't try to oak it up, don't try to butter it up. Don't think you're gonna do a better job than Mother Nature. You just put it in a, in a nice little home and take care of it for a few months, and you're gonna make a really nice bottle of wine. Lemon. 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 Citrusy? I'm not, definitely citrusy. I'm not going to put my nose in the glass. It's not happening. <laughs> <laughs> Citrus. I smell more apricot. I smell zero. I uh, you know what? I smell an empty glass. Over there we have Thomas Keller's famous three-star, Michelin star, French laundry. And on this side is the vegetable garden that services the French laundry and I assume all the rest of his restaurants in Yonkin. And it will change throughout the year and there's actually a little signpost somewhere that actually tells you what each of the patches a whole bit. By the flag, it'll yeah. tell you what's planted what where. Plants, what's planted where. God, it's like the sun's not up. It's the middle of the night, for God's sakes. 
and we're here <laughs> at the V Market. Aaron's inside uh, registering for the hot air balloon ride that comes <laughs> out of Napa. I mean, out of Yachtville. It's a, I think it's Napa Aloft. Ah, here he is now. <laughs> well, good morning. <laughs> Hello there. So, how'd it go? Uh, I'm all checked in and uh, we're just waiting around to take off. What time we get up? 4 uh, 4.35. But now That's that I'm, I'm up and uh, I'm just, I'm going to do this. They're giving out the balloon assignments. Better than they're about to give the assignments out. Give out uh, all the instructions. So it's about to go down. We're about ready to get on the shuttles. There's a bunch of shuttles behind us. About to take off. I'm not taking off. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Our objective this morning is to find the sun. So we've got some fog that's come in that's very normal, but we have to go find clear skies. We have that available to us. It's just going to take a bit of a bus ride. So what we're going to do is we're going to divide you into six groups. And the girls in hospitality have uh, worked on doing that. We do it by weight <coughs> and by grouping numbers. And then we'll walk you guys out to our vehicles, get you loaded, and then we're going to go for a short ride, OK? <laughs> How's it going back there? Great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's still early. It's still very, very early. Yeah. All right, walking to the balloon right now. It's about to get real, real, folks. We're about to go up. Uh, nobody's scared, though. It's pretty loud over here. Plug this mic in. Here we go. Uh, there are the balloons. Getting on one of them. Right, here we go. I'm excited. <laughs> I will be off of land very soon. High up in the sky. I don't know how much of you all are going to be able to hear me. Well, can you hear that? That's fire. There's fire right there. There's the fire. Ah, all right. <laughs> it's fucking serious. moment I will be right up in the air uh, pretty high so very excited about this <laughs> oh my god oh my god there he goes there he goes haha <laughs> woo <laughs> there he is okay we're getting up off the ground <laughs> uh, we are up off the ground there's the ground, and, and uh, we're going up right now. <laughs> we're in the tango balloon. up we are but we're up there's another balloon there there seemed to be some type of uh, water reservoir <laughs> and then it drives it looks like it drove about a five or a six up around 2,000 feet going about a 140 heading 150 
We are setting down on the water. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Almost. You know that dream about walking on water? <laughs> we are so walking on the water now. <laughs> this is called the splash and dash. And uh, uh, look, we are going up and up and up here. There are the other balloons. There's the water. And uh, we're just getting higher and higher here. Propane. Oh man, this is uh, not in any way scary. Spoke to some. Front of us here. This is the way it's getting the a lot higher right now. The are all trees for There's the, the ground. The this is of. us. Okay, so the balloons sometimes what they do is they box around. And that term basically means that they catch two different uh, wind directions at different elevations. Use both drafts and currents to circle. Yeah, so they're using elevation. Right. That's all they have to control, really. Oh, I never, I never really knew. Like, how do they control where the heck they're gonna go? So that's mm -hmm. how they use elevation to move. Right. Wow. Pretty high in the air. There, the balloons behind us. And uh, we're still up a great deal. Looking down. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> yeah, the pilot just said we're about 1,500 feet in the air. That's high. <laughs> we're above. Uh, we're above the mountains. Pretty incredible. And there are some vehicles down there on the ground. That should also give you an idea of how high up we are. Equipment yard, okay. False alarm, we almost, we, we thought we had them. This is pretty cool. I feel like a storm chaser, but it's much more colorful. A lot less windy. <laughs> Okay, we're slowly descending, so we're starting to head down, slowly. Still up really high, even though we're headed down slowly. Definitely up very high still. And uh, uh, yeah, not sure how it would feel. <laughs> tell each different one where to go to find catch yes. their balloons so they may not all land exactly at the same no. place. This balloon is going down pretty fast right here if you all can see that. And I believe the pilot just said we're going back up. Okay, we're going down pretty fast here. No, 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 no. We're going down about <laughs> 30 miles an hour. Well, it seems fast. Speaking in a hot air balloon, it is kind of fast.
something because he dropped the rope. I was going and back there to the is truck, Anna. Guys. Just come back to the there truck. she is. Waiting for us to come down. These guys have a hard effing job. Look at these guys. Wow. Just come get on the basket here. Quick. <laughs> quick, 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 quick. Thank you guys. All right. We are safely on the ground. Woohoo! Those are the guys that landed us safely. We did it. What was it? It was awesome as ever! And a little crazy and scary a little bit. You look up there, this is a really cool piece of uh, inside I did. We were up 1,500 feet. That's pretty freaking high. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, it was pretty high. Uh, no, no, but uh, when I looked down a couple of times, I was holding onto the basket a lot tighter. <laughs> oh, this, this, I'm glad I did it, and I'm really happy that I'm back on the ground. My uncle C.A. brother, he invented the first part of the room. They got the idea from their wife, fashion design. Women were. Look at this. They thought the city of the smoke, you know, this is a city. But it ended up happening with that city. It's probably in the city. All right, everybody, there's your uh, tutorial for the day. Hey, Mom, how's it going? <laughs> uh, we're going to have you guys start climbing out over here. We're going to get you guys right, climbing it's out. It's climb out time. time. Was it fun? It was a lot of fun. Okay. Awesome. This is awesome. It, it was. Oh, it is. It's kind of weird that you don't know where you're going to land, so. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> here I am. And here you are. Would you do it again? Absolutely. Yay! Maybe I'll do it next time. I'm afraid She's of heights. Doing, she'll do it next time. We'll do I'm it together really where I'm not going to do it again. I'm really afraid of heights. So... But the person who was driving us was also afraid of heights, and he's done it, and he said it was fun, so who knows, maybe I will. We're still in Pope Valley, so we're going to load up into the shuttles again, and they're going to take us back to Yauntville, where we started this whole adventure in the middle of the night. But yes, I'm awake now. I'm sure you're really awake. I'm wide awake now. <laughs> but I'm ready for coffee, for real. Yes, yes. Well, we'll see you in Yauntville then. See you soon. Protea is a fast casual refined restaurant. I am Puerto Rican, so the influence here is from the Caribbean, uh, anything Latin, South American, Mexican. So um, come in, order at the counter, have a seat on our beautiful rooftop in our front patio or courtyard, and then my team brings the food out to you. We have wine and beer, soft drinks, house brewed iced tea that I brew here right in my front yard under the sun. If you're gluten-free, vegan, vegetarian, pescatarian, we can accommodate you. Oh, thank you. And lunch is served. Vegan 
tofu tacos at Protea. Yes, and we are at the rooftop. We're about to get it on. We're about to tear down this food and enjoy it. Yum, 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 yum. Mm, 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 mm. My goodness. Love it. Okay, so now we're heading over to the Yauntville uh, Veterans Home. There's really no way to do a story about Yauntville. You can't talk about Yauntville without talking about the Veterans Home because um, this is a very small, very small town. And I'd say, what, probably over half of the residents here live at or are associated with the Veterans Home. So, yep. yeah, so I mean, 
This is a very important part of this town and of this culture of this town. So we do want to acknowledge the veterans who've kept this country free and safe and we appreciate every one of them that were involved in every conflict or even in between and everything that they've done because they do sacrifice so much for us and uh, I'm That's glad right. glad that such a place exists I'm glad that such a place exists. absolutely Memorial Chapel um, Napa Valley President Circle maybe go to the right wait 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 wait, wait. what do we have the chapel the cemetery bass baseball Lincoln Theater picnic grounds delivery swimming pool Let's go to the right. Swimming pool over here. Looks like there's a baseball diamond or something. Check out some of the the pretty grounds. The grounds are lovely. They're like our uh, gardens here. It's so impressive. Really, it's it's uh, very grand. It really is. This road is just uh, really large trees up and down this entire road that we're on right now. Yeah. Wow. This is quite a nice light nice place to walk. Like I said, yeah, walk yes, dogs. Yes, it is. Yes. Go for a walk in the evening. Um, it's just nice and peaceful. Let's go check this out up here. Wow, this is neat. So we are done um, exploring Yachtville. For now. For now. And we have ended our tour at the Veterans Home here. And uh, wow, I just want to say thank you so much for, to all of the veterans Absolutely. who have done a great service for our country. And um, they have really built a beautiful place here for them. Absolutely. So. Come visit Yachtville. Yes. It's been a blast. Yeah. Uh, especially if you need a quiet getaway. This is the perfect place for you. There's a lot to do here. There are hiking trails. There's lots of wine to experience. <laughs> yeah, the nature uh, is beautiful. The nature is truly beautiful. Oh my goodness. The nature is so beautiful. Yeah. And the wine is yummy. Yeah. So So even though it's small, there's plenty to do, stuff for people of all ages. Yes. So Make sure if you have the chance to come to um, Napa Valley that you make some time to visit Yachtville. Yachtville.